it's Karen from Liongate Farm and this week we are going to do some spring Easter eggs for you. I'm going to teach you how to do this little quick project. You can have an Easter egg felting party with your friends or your teenagers. So join us on this little journey. Okay, so today we're going to make um, little Easter eggs. You can decorate them however you want. Um, I'm going to teach you this one with the bunny and the flowers. Um, it's pretty fun. You can do whatever you want color-wise. We're going to use a variety of wools. We're going to use core wool for the center like we always do. And then we're going to use all different colors. There's some merino with some sparkle in it, some Corydale. We're going to use various color locks for our little flowers. And then other different colors just a whole bunch of colors today we'll be using a multi-tool to make felting go just a hair faster we'll be using a toothpick and a trusty skewer that I always use and then a 38 star spiral needle all right so let's get going we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to make an egg and maybe color it a little bit so first you're gonna want to take a nice healthy piece of core wool Depending on the thickness of your core wool, it's gonna it's gonna vary. And then decide how big you want your egg. These are pretty much extra large egg size, like real eggs. It'd be a little bit bigger. And we're gonna wrap our skewer like we always do, nice and tight. Remember, the tighter you wrap it, the less felting you have to do. We're gonna go back and forth. So this will be the top of the egg, the skinny part of the egg. And down here will be the fat part of the egg. Let me poke it a little to secure it. Now I know there's a couple places out there where you can buy pre-made egg blanks. That's kind of cheating, don't you think? Let's make the real egg ourselves because it's pretty fast. You can see I just went up and I basically have an egg shape. Stab it a bit. Now before we pull that skewer out, I'm going to secure this bottom wool. If you don't do that, everything on the inside will come out. And then you got to start over. Nobody likes doing things twice. So now I'm going to pull my skewer out. You can see we basically have an egg shape here. And we're just going to make it nice and smooth. There's different ways you can make these eggs. Some people say you should knot your core wool, put a big knot in it, and then make another knot on top of it and then wrap that. I find this way the fastest that I just showed you and the smoothest. I'm just going back and forth in a pattern. Trying to get it all level or even. And I'm moving the egg back and forth. Then we're going to round down around the bottom. I want this egg to be pretty firm because when we start felting 3D little things on the outside, if it's not firm, they'll sink in and disappear. So 
if you feel like your egg is squishy, you can always add some more core wool. This guy's not very squishy. So we have a pretty basic egg shape here. So next we're gonna, I'm gonna make some sky. I'm gonna make some grass. So we're gonna need this light blue Coriadale wool for the sky. And we're just gonna take some off. I'm stacking this because it came out of its roving form. And we're gonna wrap it around. This is your background, so remember you want it to be kind of smooth. You can use this, you can have a party with your friends and have Easter egg decorating. Don't want any of the white showing through on this egg. So I'm just gonna keep felting this all in till it's smooth. And I'm gonna add the green. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how to make the flowers. Okay, after a couple minutes and you get all your green on and you've worked your egg smooth by poking it all the way around. Make sure you round the bottom here. So you got your egg all smooth. So now it's time to decorate this egg. Unless you want just plain eggs, then you can leave it like that. So we're gonna start with the little flowers. And I like to put, well actually we're gonna start with some sky. So I'm gonna use this sparkle, I don't know if you can see it, this sparkle merino, some wisps of it. I'm just gonna lay it up in the sky for clouds. And just add it onto the blue. A little bit of sparkle on your eggs is always good. 
the Sparkle Marina will be available in the farm store shortly in one ounce bundles. I was able to find a supplier, so it's great. All right, so we're going to, so let's make a peach color flower. So you have your little peach color. You're gonna take very thin strip and your toothpick. So the first thing we're gonna do is make some little seeds. Let's wrap it around the toothpick. And you don't want it too fat. You can spin it in your fingers. That's gonna help felt it. Now let's take it off. So we need five per flower. This is the fastest way I know to make tiny flowers. So I think I'm going around the toothpick about five times. That one's going to be a little bit fat. That won't hurt anything though. Spin it in your fingers, helps felt it a little bit. Now we have five little petals. So decide where your, your flower is going to be. And we're gonna take that fringe on the end, just poke it in. And hear how firm my egg is under there. I tucked that little fringe that was extra because that guy was a thicker one. And then you have to decide what color you want the center of your flower to be. I think I'm going to do a dark orange out of these locks that are back over here. Or maybe a deep, deep color. No, orange. I want orange. A little piece of lock. I'll use the small one. Poke that in the middle. Tone on tone flower. And now we're going to make a white one. Same method, we're gonna just keep going around. I'm gonna make this flower a little bit smaller, so I'm making my seeds a little bit smaller. That one got a little bit big. Do 
You know, there's no perfect way to do things. It is what it is. And the only person who knows what you're making is you. Remember, just keep your roving flat as you wrap it. You can see making flowers this way goes pretty fast. Let's make this one up higher. Tack the first one. I don't like that guy. I'm going to take him off. I need to make another one because I didn't like that other one. Give this one a yellow center, like a daisy. You're going to poke along the edges of the petals to get them totally secure. You can see they're standing up away from the egg. Once you get all your flowers on, you're then going to add some stems. You can use blocks. We're going to use a tiny bit of this lichen colored Coriolis. It's kind of like moss green. We're going to make a little stem. I like to tack it and then spin it. Let's do one on this one. Actually, I think I'm going to go right to there. Nice thin stems. And then these skinny little, tiny little dyed blue face luster blocks make great little leaves. These are little lamb locks, that's why they're so tiny. So you're going to go all the way around your egg, adding flowers. And you're going to leave about, how many flowers do I have on this one, two, three, four. There's only four flowers on this guy. And then we're going to make a bunny. 
I don't like how this petal is fatter than that petal, so I'm gonna keep working with it. So another way to make a flower with two-tone, two-tone petals is you can take some pink. Let's do some pink. I'm gonna split this into two so they have this one there. And we're gonna do a little bit of orange. Let me undo this guy. So let's just take a little bit of orange fiber. Goodness. And we'll add it to the pink fiber. So you can see we have a little strip of orange and a little strip of pink. And toothpick, not skewer. We're gonna make our little seeds. That one's kind of messy. I don't ever worry about the extra fringe because I can always tuck it in. let this flower have four and we're going to tack them on And because I like sparkles so much, we're going to use a little bit of white sparkle for the center on this one. You can never have too much glitter, ever. Except on the floor. And then I'm gonna go into my little pile over here. Tack it and then I twist it. Just gonna let that come up and be the leaf. Kind of a little abstract. So 
Okay, so we'll add another flower in a minute, but let's do the bunny next. So the bunny, I freehand the bunny. This is the bunny we're gonna do. So I'm gonna freehand this little bunny. You can always print out a little template and kind of trace it on there. So first you have a little head. Basically you're drawing with wool. And then you have his little body. We might not have room for four flowers. That's why I'm doing the bunny now. It's really helpful to look on the internet or in books. Just a little silhouette of a bunny. This is not a detailed bunny. So we know he's gonna have a foot right here. Take a little bit more white. We know he's going to have a foot in the front. It'll come together. Just give it a minute. His little haunch right here where his legs. So we're just gonna add a little bit there. It's almost looking like a rabbit. We need a little piece for his ears. So this I'm going to twist. And then I'm going to fold it in half. His ears can be as big or as little as you want. Now the ear on the other side is not as fat as the front ear. Notice I'm just adding little tiny pieces at a time. Kind of painting our little bunny.
turn this nose more around. I'm going to add a little peach in his ear. Very few fibers. Again, very, very few. I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't look like much. But we're going to put some peach in here. We need hardly any fibers. And then I need a piece of black. I don't know if I have any black over here. We can use purple. For his eyeball. Remember, the more that you stab it, the more it's going to sculpt. So once we get the rabbit the way we like it, then we can sculpt it in. And then he needs a little tail. Let's give him a little pink tail. You can use white, you can use any colors you want. Tack that little lock in there. Now, I want to make sure my egg is staying egg shaped. Because I've been working in this one spot for a while. Remember we talked at the beginning about you got to make sure that egg is felted pretty good because when you get felting this hard onto it, it can lose its shape if it's not felted hard enough. And he needs a little grass under him. Let's give him a little grass. So you can paint these however you want. I lost his foot. We can actually get really silly. Take a piece of orange. And now we know what the bunny is doing. Put a little carrot. Dig in my little pile here. Actually, I'm gonna dig in my basket. I know exactly what color I want. I need some carrot tops. I'm gonna find the center of these locks because they're too long. And just tack them on. So now we know what that little bunny's doing. He is looking for this carrot. So, 
these are just a little color palette. You can do whatever you want on these eggs. Go back around, make sure all your flowers are tacked on well. You can add a sunshine up here. You can do whatever you want on these little 3D eggs. He needs a tiny pink nose. You have it, one little Easter egg. Hope you find this video fun and you go out and make a whole bunch of eggs. Now, if you like our videos and you want to support us, the best thing you can do is subscribe to our YouTube channel because that really helps us out. And then if you need supplies for your felting projects, head over to the liongatefarm.org um, farm store and you can find all kinds of supplies for your felting needs.